Hello again guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. So you have a new Ledger device, you set it up already, and you have a MetaMask extension in your Firefox browser, and now you want to connect your Ledger device to the MetaMask extension in order to interact with decentralized apps, with DeFi apps, on Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum Chain, Polygon, doesn't matter, but you want to send transaction using the Ledger device in a much more secure way rather than sending it from a normal MetaMask wallet. If you don't know how to do it, then watch this tutorial and I will show you easily in simple basic steps how you can connect your Ledger device to your MetaMask extension and to the different various blockchain. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the small bell notification button. So anytime I post this kind of educational, useful videos, you can see them as soon as possible. And if this tutorial is helpful for you, consider smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm so it will expose it to many more people. So in order to this tutorial to work you will have to use firefox browser because we have right now an issue with the chrome browser because they removed some kind of a feature that support hardware wallet connecting to extensions in the browser itself so the first thing that you will need to, to do after you have metamask browser and after you set up your ledger device you have the keys you have everything is to download an app called ledger Live. This is the app that actually helps you to manage your Ledger device in your computer. They have it for MacBooks, for Windows and for Linux. You just download here the app. It's super, super easy, super, super simple. It will download it for your operating system. And once you have the Ledger Live app, you're going to open it here and go to manager on the left side menu you go to manager and the next thing you want to do is to install here the ethereum eth app this app will let you interact with all the different blockchains that are compatible with the ethereum blockchain for example binance smart chain polygon avalanche phantom all these blockchains are supported by the ethereum blockchain so you can click here install and simply what it will happen it will install the app you can see that it's now installing and here in the ledger it's super super fast but here you can see loading please wait now the ledger live app controls the ledger itself and it installs the ethereum app to the ledger this is the first step install ethereum app you see that it's gonna be finished soon and once it's done you're gonna close it's very very important close exit the ledger live app now we are in our firefox and actually here if you go to the ledger you can see that you have a new app added all right ethereum app you're gonna click the two buttons in order to open it now the app is open and you can see that you have this kind of message application is ready now, once you finished to install the Ethereum app on your Ledger device, you're gonna click on your MetaMask extension right here on the top right left of the extension. And then you're gonna click here on the avatar of your account. You can see here, this is your account. And you're gonna click here, connect hardware wallet. This is the feature that MetaMask lets you connect your hardware wallet, if it's Ledger or Trezor, to the MetaMask browser. Now we're gonna pick Ledger because this is the device that we have right now click continue and now the metamask browser is looking in your computer for the ledger device actually in chrome they remove this kind of option for the metamask that's why they actually uh, in firefox it will work better now we're going to select the account that you want usually it will be the account if you have already some ether or tokens on the account then select the account that you want to connect to the metamask browser that contains the ether and contains the tokens in that case it's brand new ledger that doesn't have any tokens so i'm just gonna pick the first account and click unlock because it doesn't really matter and now you can see that actually the ledger device is connected to your metamask browser you can see right here that i have ledger one and if i open it right here i have account one and ledger and you can see here that you have this kind of small label that mentions that the show us that this is not a normal wallet but this is the hardware wallet it is connected to the computer now the next time that you will want to do a swap in some kind of decentralized app you let's say you want to swap some ether i don't have any interest now on this kind of ledger device but let's say i want to swap ether 
to one inch the next time that you will prompt a transaction it will prompt your metamask you will have to switch it right here connect your ledger you see here connect so now the ledger is actually connected the wallet address that you don't see because it's censored right here is actually the wallet of the ledger device itself the ledger device and not the metamask browser that has been created when you created the metamask wallet and you can always switch it here on this kind of metamask extension you can switch it between the ledger to the account itself and now you can basically send transaction from decentralized apps through metamask and the ledger you will have to confirm the transaction twice once in the metamask you will have this prompt on metamask and after in the metamask you will have a prompt in the ledger where you will have to click accept and confirm and every transaction and now your funds are more more and more secured so this is how you connect easily your ledger device to your metamask extension browser again make sure you use firefox because we have some bugs with chrome right now and this is super super simple super super easy i hope this was helpful for you and now you can actually use your ledger with your metamask device and if you like this content again subscribe smash that like button and i will see you in the next guide thank you so much bye bye